Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth course. And in this course, we're going to go over some of the advanced audio control. Now, uh, we went over some audio before, but this one is a little more uh, in-depth. Uh, the first thing we want to go through is looking at adjusting the sequence audio levels. Now, when we worked in uh, Premiere before, and we worked on our video tracks, and we did our keyframing here, um, the exact same thing. Let me close up a lot of these here, and we'll bring this a little bit higher, because we're not really worried about the video part of this. We're more going to look at the audio part. So I'm going to grab the audio and have it so it fills most of this screen here. And you can see that there are uh, the nice line here for the um, uh, the audio, just like there was in the video. The video has the same lines that you can look at for keyframing. And let me show you what you can actually keyframe in audio. We have volume, which is bypass or level. And then panner, which is panning left to right. Um, right now we're going to go over levels. And that's the one thing we're going to do is learn how we can keyframe audio effects. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight audio channels here, which is our surround sound music for this music video. And uh, we can just do a straight click and drag up to increase the volume or click and drag down to decrease the volume and that will change the volume on that one track um, or on that one clip because we're looking at the clip keyframes and the clip volume. Um, if we want track keyframes or track volume we can also show those. Um, let me show you uh, a way that we can change the volume of this this first one, which is our drums. And we want to add keyframes in here. And just like on the video, we use the control key to click and add. You'll notice that there's a little plus sign when I have it close to the yellow line. That'll add a keyframe wherever I click and I can have the audio change at all of these places so we'll put some all the way down and we have audio changes in each of these places and then I can grab these I want it higher over here I want it lower and then higher and then lower and um, we can go through and add all of these keyframes to our audio and Let's turn these other ones off just so we can hear those changes in the audio. And you can hear it getting a lot lower there. And then it will slowly go back up and then down and up and down. Um, the keyframes are uh, just like on the video, you can move them, just click and move them back and forth. If you, um, I believe it's the Alt key, you can, uh, you can click and move it. Um, the keyframes here, um, if you go into the effect controls and you go to volume, you can see them also up here. They're the exact same keyframes here as they are up here. So if you want to uh, uh, change this to a linear, you want to change this to a Bezier, you can um, change all of these however you want to change them um, just by coming up here and modifying them here. And you can also change it down here. So if you want this to ease in up here, you just ease in and then when it comes in, it will 
you can see that it became more of a curve there. And you can also grab these little um, these little handles here and you can make the, the curve however you want it. However you want it to look on the curve, you can you can go ahead and change it. So if you've ever used the pen tool in like Photoshop, it's the same type of thing. It's got these little handles that you can you can move around to change the um, the shape of the of the line that you're drawing with the um, with the pen tool. And you can also use the pen tool to create the um, the uh, keyframes on here. And you notice that as I click it up here, watch right over here. We click it there and one shows up. We click it over here and one shows up there. And it's just another way to, to do the uh, keyframes. I usually just leave it on our selection tool and then just use the, um, uh, the control key to click it and it will add it there. Um, you can also right click and delete them if you want to, uh, get rid of them. Uh, we might have too many on here. It's wild. Uh, roller coaster audio is usually not very good unless you have it for a specific reason. But, um, that's a way that you can keyframe your, um, your, um, uh, audio, your, uh, audio clips. So let's go ahead and we'll grab all of these and we'll delete them all. Now, um, another thing that we can do. I'm going to jump over here 